Hello, I'm Chet Davis, and I'm your technology tutor. I'm happy to have this time today to share this lesson with you to help you get the most out of today's technology tools. Today our goal is to learn the options for finding a graphic or an image via the functions in the Google Images search menu. Whether you're preparing a document, a presentation, a website, or even a video project, sometimes that perfect image just makes the project all the more complete, whether it's a photograph, a drawing, or even clip art. Google has some powerful options to help you easily find a variety of graphics for your needs. First, what you need to do is go to the Google homepage, and that's google.com, G-O-O-G-L-E.com. If you have a Google account, you can sign in. You can see I'm signed into my Google account. It will tell you at the upper right-hand corner. You could go ahead and type in an image in the general search bar, but my recommendation is come to the upper left corner and left-click on Images, and this opens the Google Images search engine, so it's only going to search for images. Let's start out with computers. Let's say you're doing a presentation, uh, a paper on computers, and you want to find a suitable graphic uh, image for you. So we'll go ahead and type in computers and click search images and Google Images, which recently was uh, revamped in the last uh, couple months here to give us even more images on a single screen. Used to be broken out in boxes and separated. Now they give you a large amount of, of images. And what Google has done is they're using the power of their search engine to reach out across the Internet, the World Wide Web, and look for uh, an image that corresponds to your request and display that for you here. On the upper right side I can click in the elevator here and scroll down the page and you can see that I have image after image after image. Now the reason I wanted to share this tutorial with you here is you may have gotten that far before but there's some really powerful options that I want to make sure you know how to use. For example you could click on advanced search and you used to have to do that to get to the functions I want to share with you today. But Google made it even more helpful by putting a lot of those functions on the left side of your menu once you start your image, image search. For example, if we're looking for a specific size of an image, like if you're doing a video project, you probably want a, a larger image size that's going to fit your, your project aspect ratio. So it's only showing me now the larger images. And this is real nice as well. When I uh, put my mouse over a particular image, it gives me the name of it. And down here it tells me the size. So that's 1050 by 1050 pixels. The next image is 1109 by 815 pixels and so on and so on. So you can see right away Google is giving you some feedback as to the size of the image that you may want to use. I also like this function. I'm going to skip a few of these because this is a pertinent time to share this. Come down here and left click where it says show sizes. Now it displays the same images but there's a little graphic underneath that shows me the sizes. So really quickly I can get a sense of the size of the image that's available to me. Now, right now I'm saying show me only the large size images. I can go back and say any size and the show size button remains on there. So you can do medium sized as well. If you're looking for an image that's an icon because uh, you want to use this, uh, for example, on your web page, on a website, you can do that as well. And you have these tiny little icons you can use as buttons as part of a website you might be constructing. You can specify an image that's larger than something, or you can even specify that I would like you to find an image that's exactly, say, 250 pixels by 200 pixels. Maybe you have that particular size requirement. So here it gives me all the images that confine to that specific size. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to any size. So that's how you find a specific sized images in the Google Images search engine. You can also come down here and say, well, I would really like um, to use a graphic that involves computers but also shows faces. So you left click on face and it will show you computer images with faces. Now, some of these uh, may not fit what you need. It's going off information that's provided on websites. So there is a, you know, a bit of um, review that's required to see if it's just the one you want. Maybe you want uh, a shot of Leonard Nimoy in front of a computer. Or maybe you want Steve Jobs in front of his little tiny computer. Any of those. But it's nice to know you can have that here. If you want a photograph, computer photograph, a photograph involving or related to including computers, 
that's what we have here. If you're looking for clip art, you have the ability to left click on clip art and it will only show you um, the images that are specified as clip art. And then perhaps you want a line drawing that generally speaking are going to be black and white, but you see some that do have some degree of color. And then you can say only show me the ones that have full color or only show me the ones that are black and white. Now that works with each of the types including photos. So you can have only black and white photos if that's what you want. You can even go so far as say, well show me computer photos that involve the color red or perhaps that involve the color green. So a great deal of filtering is available to you here. And then if you wanted to go back and kind of reset the stage, you can go ahead and left click on reset tools and it returns it back to the very beginning. That's a quick look at how you can use the power of the Google Images search page for you. If you'd like more tips, tutorials, and articles to help you get the most out of today's technology tools, please visit my website, yourtechnologytutor.net. That's yourtechnologytutor.net. Thanks for joining me. Chet Davis signing off.